Good morning, Namibians. There is something that is quite very urgent that I want you to think about because we are just sleeping and these guys are not sleeping. Now, you remember that when whole of last year when we were dealing with this FEMA thing, uh, the government indicated that they are putting the FEMA on hold. So, and they were all happy apparently that the FEMA is on hold, that they are going to, um, to do public consultation uh, and, and sort of things like that. So, what has actually happened is that these guys have now found another way. As we are speaking, they found a best possible way of taking uh, pe uh, people's money through using these uh, retirement funds. Now, I want to give you an example of a retirement fund called Benchmark. Uh, Benchmark Retirement Fund. So this Benchmark Retirement Fund has uh, a, a, the amount, the, the, the value of that is more than 1 billion and it has more than 10 uh, more than 10,000 employees that are part of this of this benchmark retirement fund. Okay, now what is what is it that actually happens? So now currently, what actually happens is that if you retire, you get one third of your money. Okay, you have reached 60, you get one third of your money. So your two third uh, remains in in this thing, so that you it remains, and then this is what you are paid per month. Say for example. Uh, four thousand and whatever it is that, that that you pay until you die okay that that amount of money after your retirement so the focus i want you to concentrate is that it's post retirement okay so you have now retired and this is the amount of money that that, that you then get so what happened then uh, you, you have retired you maybe are 65 okay and then you die at 66 Okay. Currently, what happens is that if you die at 66, your, 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 the, the, this money that you've been getting per month uh, continues to be paid to your beneficiaries. Okay, The beneficiary that you have nominated yourself. Now, that beneficiary could be your wife, that beneficiary can be your child, yeah, or whatever it is that you, that you have done. So, that money just goes to them. It's not taxed. Okay? They just keep receiving. If your wife dies, if your child dies, whoever it is that is... Uh, that is a beneficial. This is what it is now. Now, what these guys have done now, they have now discovered that okay, they cannot work with FEMA, so they have to find another way how to how to to load and get this thing. So this is what they've done using the retirement, uh, the, the the benchmark retirement fund. So this benchmark retirement fund found a strategy and they went to Namfisa. As we speak, Namfisa have approved to change this model, the, the one that I was explaining. Now, if you die at sixty six. Your money no longer go to your wife or to your child, but it goes to your estate. Okay? It goes to your estate. So, meaning that it goes to your estate, and if your estate has debt, it has whatever, as we demonstrate now, that's what's going to happen. So, your children are not going to benefit. And as we know in Namibia, some estates, a person spends, you spend about five years just waiting for the estate to be resolved. But this is what happens practically. Say, for example, then you die, and the amount of money that we're talking about, this two-third, this post-retirement uh, thing, is, is, is in the quantum of 500,000. Okay? Now, because what is remaining is no longer going to your child or your wife, it's going to your estate, it basically means that it will be subjected to the tech, to tax. Okay? So if it's subjected to tax, you know that oh, it will be about 60,000 tax already that the government is going to do. Now, the, what type of retirement fund subject their members in order for them to, to be deducted tax in that way, to change the model like that? So... 60,000 tax is taken. What, do you, what are you left with? 440,000. That's what now is left for the estate. Okay, But since it's in the estate, there's also uh, executor's fees. Né? The person who's going to execute that. that. So you, you, are, you are counting roughly about close to, say, 20,000 again. Executor. So what is left is 400 and... 20,000, okay, in terms of, of, of that amount. So this is already about 80,000 that is just gone. Of this 450, uh, 4, 420 that is left, let's assume, let's assume that the, the deceased, you now had a debt of maybe 350,000, okay? So you subtract that 350,000 from a 420, what is it that you're going to be left with here? 
So you would, you would see clearly that the only amount of money that a person is going to, to have, it is probably just between 70,000 or eight to 80,000. That's what you are going to be left with because of what Namfisa has now approved. So Namfisa as a regulator. So as we're speaking, what these guys have done is that there are people, if you are employed, uh, if you are part of these 10,000 employees, that are part of this ben uh, benchmark retirement fund. So these are employees of Gondwana, employees of Namco. There are about uh, 30 companies uh, that, are, that are part of this benchmark retirement fund. So Namfisa, so Namibians are going to be treated differently. Some have already been surrendered. Their money is going to be eaten now. So let's assume this only these 10,000 employees have in the same scenario, okay? So 500,000, uh, this amount of money, so this 60,000 in tax, if you just multiply that 10,000 times that 60,000, so you would actually have 600 million. Huh? 600 million in tax is just going to government. This is exactly what they, what they have done. So they don't need to go through FEMA anymore. They can just do it through this benchmark retirement fund and they do. do. So how do we then explain in a country that people are treated differently like that? How do you explain some a regulator? Namfisa's responsibility is to regulate the sector. So these guys, as we speak, as a matter of fact, benchmark, that's what has happened. So all of all you employees that are part of that, and you know, there are people that have died in this country. We know that an estate, that an estate takes roughly about five years yeah, to resolve. Currently, this is what is going to, to happen. So they must take out their debt, they must take out all those things five years. In the meantime, your child will not be able, because you are dead, your child will not be able to do anything while people are just waiting. We have seen estates that are take, have taken eight years. In some cases, even 10 years, if there are conflict and all those other things, because it will be the issues of the court, people will be appealing to whatever it is, if they are not happy with certain things, uh, those things. So that's what, I don't understand how can we even allow a situation like that. It is very bad. It is very bad that these guys are working underground as we speak. This is what they have done and this is what they intend to do. So the purpose of this last three things is to actually understand how they are undercutting using the same principle that they wanted to, to use with FEMA through some other, 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 other method and means. Okay? So you could see it is for these guys to get the executors to get more money, tax to get more money, uh, tax men to get more money. So you can see that there is a collusion between these guys of benchmark and others so this is just a beginning benchmark have started and others because they don't they want to absorb themselves of the responsibility others will also start following suit so before you know it fema will be implemented in terms of how they intended to do but they are going to be implementing it underground through this uh, through this arrangement of, of taking people's money it is practically possible for you now to see that in the past that five hundred thousand just goes to your child and, and, and is not taxed is not subjected to executors, it's not subjected to debt and all those other things. So that's why at least you know it was safer. So this so-called artificial comfort that people claim that you are going to get is part of a problem. So please spread this video, spread this video to everybody so that people can understand what actually these people are doing uh, underground. So let's see, let's see. Uh, but it's definitely clear what these people are trying to do. Thank you.